Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin. Today we're looking at the camera settings app for the Logitech Brio webcam. Um, so, first of all, any of the software for this thing, you can get it from logitech.com slash support slash Brio. And um, you get, um, obviously, all your support stuff here. You go to downloads. Uh, here's the camera settings app, which is super useful, and we're going to go into that. I didn't try uh, the link thing or the Skype for Business thing because I don't use either of those things. Um, Logitech Brio for Windows Hello, that kind of messed up my stuff here. Um, the Brio webcam works right out of the box. The Windows Hello settings should just automatically show up as, almost as soon as you plug it into a USB 3 port. So... I installed this thing and everything worked the same, but then um, you go and you go down, I, I think this is the app, and if you go to open it, it'll just uninstall itself. And then when it does, um, Windows Hello just breaks. So I wouldn't install this thing if, if I were you, and because then now to get Windows Hello back, I had to reinstall it. All right, so here's the camera settings app. Obviously I can't maximize it, otherwise I would. Um, I can't enlarge it. So we have three tabs up here, control, image, settings. Um, control is pretty simple. Uh, we can't move anything around until we zoom in. And once we zoom in, you can see that we can move around. You can see uh, my gray chair there. And then if we hit home, we go right back. Okay, um, by the way, you can see that I am wearing a headset for this. Um, if you want to if, if you wanna see where I actually test the video recording, you can go to the... the um, the test for that and that actually shows the the sound quality of the microphones on the webcam itself um, if we go over to image here we have manual controls so if we go to color intensity you can see how that slides right over um, I recorded the other test with Windows camera obviously I'm using a screen recorder for this because I can't you can't adjust these while you're using the Windows camera app in fact it won't even let me launch Windows camera as you can see here see close other apps it's gonna say all right, so back here, um, if we turn off auto white balance, you can see that it gets really cool and really warm right here, but we're going to turn that back on. Auto focus, you can do manual focus if you want, All right? So you get it really blurry. Um, we're going to keep auto focus on contrasts. So, and then of course, you know, you, and then we go to brightness here, really dark, really light. And then if we want to restore all defaults, we can just do that. Um, and that restores all the defaults across the board because you can see that we're now at a 90 degree field of view where I was at 65 degrees before. So 65, 78, 90. And you also have the option to go standard or widescreen, which takes a second to kick in there. But you can see that you can see almost the entire room if you put it in 90 degrees in widescreen. All right. Um, and... So I just keep it at standard and um, and 65 degrees, unless you really want to get a wide shot of where you are, which is great that you can do that, but um, you know it's not really what we're looking to do for the purposes here. So whatever you change here is going to translate to whatever app that you open it in. So if we go to color intensity, let's find some really wacky settings here. Yeah, there we go. All right. So this, let's say this is how we want our uh, our pictures to come out. <laughs> All right, so I, I would just close this because obviously I can't use the camera in any other app while this is open. So now if I open Windows Camera, right, this is exactly the settings translate across the board. And um, we can take a picture, you know. And uh, yeah, that's me. And <laughs> aspect ratio, 4x3 or 16x9, obviously. You don't get a choice in resolution. Um, video recording, you get 60 frames per second at 1080p or 30 frames per second at 4K. Um, if you if you take a picture, you're going to get a 4K image. It's not going to be, uh, which uh, is around eight, a little over 8 megapixels it should be. But um, that's all you get. So... Take one last look at that uh, camera settings app, which I closed. Shows up in the start menu right there. It does take a second to load. And obviously, we wouldn't want a picture like this, you know, in any normal setting. So let's just restore the defaults, and we're back to normal. And 
don't want 90 degrees, we want 65. And again, it's, it's simple to get right back to where you should be, and it's simple to just adjust anything you want. And, um, and now if I go into Windows Camera, we can see that everything is back to normal. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'm Rich from Neowin, and have a great night.